not not for the government. And then they make judgment he has five. Oh, five. In August of 2010, I attended a regular meeting of the Wilkesbury Council in regards to Wilkesbury and the Mall. In part, I felt that it needed to be safer and cleaner. I also stated that police are never visible, especially between 4.30 and 5.30 p.m., a, bit, a very busy time at the end of the Mall. Other areas also that could be changed is that there should be no smoking, especially on the island area where you wait and line up for buses, along with signs that should be added that say no bicycle riding or skateboarding. Not to mention no loitering, as it became a new place for degenerates to hang out, along with a few more changes. I was told at that time by, by Mayor Layton that the Intermobile is a state-of-the-art facility and was designed, and was designed with safety in mind. Here we now are, a little over two years, and I must admit, only one thing that I had asked for has slightly changed. And it was a little item that changed. Nonetheless, it was effective as I had expected. I now see a police cruiser about once or twice a month parked there during those hours, and as happy as it as of the term, and the rip goes away for a while, and then time to turn. Now, however, what I'm again asking for is like to say, see, there's no smoking signs on the island when you wait line up in buses. As recently, the rules changed with LCTA, and you can no longer board the bus and drive the weights outside until it's time for buses to leave, as you now need to pay beforehand and boarding the bus. Therefore, if both the buses up, take breaks together, and the people need to wait on the island for the bus to open, which is, excuse me, which is, they board the bus and leave as soon as it's loaded with passengers. Recently, I suffered a bad asthma attack leaving from my bus as several people were smoking surrounding me, and there's no place for refuge from this. I would really appreciate if you could post no smoking signs, especially on the island area due to the recent changes LCTA has made. I do understand that you can't give everyone a ticket, but an educated guess that if you give a few warnings, this, may too, this too may act as a deterrent and it would stop. Then again, if you give tickets, this would be added revenue for the city. Secondhand smoke does kill too. Bicyclists as well as skateboarders still find fun of being mobile, but again, if signs are posted, this to react as a turn and limit the number of kids as well as, as, a, as a possible catastrophe. Another issue I had in less than a month was a near car mishap with an LCTA bus that cruised through a stop sign during the month of October of this year. I notified LCTA and suggested that they look through the camera footage inside the intermodal so that the LCTA driver could be recommended and he in turn told me that the cameras aren't operable and haven't been since <coughs> before around the time of the death of the elderly gentleman back in 2011. This has me not only concerned, but worried over future problems that may occur. So if there's such a state-of-the-art facility, what happened to the safety of mine? Looks like it went out the window. It would be nice to see signs that were asked for well over two years ago, as well as operable equipment that the city has paid for, as I'm sure there was a warranty for the cameras. Possibly if you put up no smoking signs, no smoking signs and hand out tickets, there would be enough revenue to fix the cameras if no warranty exists. This is just a thought. To request these signs as well as working cameras is a valid request, and truly, if you look around the intermobile on any busy day, don't do a drive-by, but just sit there for approximately two hours and watch and look around. This still includes not only the justification, but also merits the necessity, necessity for these items. Yes? I was looking to do to see if those cameras were operational. Well, there you go. We don't like this, so we're in the camera car, so. And we can look into the middle of those smoking signs. Are they operable? LCTA is referring to the camera inside their buses. No, no, no. No, I, I explained that to them. They said no, that they're not working. I know you're saying that they have cameras inside the buses. I wasn't asking about those cameras. Because he said he would check the footage of their cameras and said bus. And I asked over two years ago for, this, for the uh, no smoking and no bicyclists and no skateboarders. And there's been a, a number of near mishaps. It was very close. And it's, 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 it's an accident waiting to happen again. As I said before, and the other man passed away right after that. Well, we can get it. We can get we'll follow up on that. We'll, we'll get an answer for you. <coughs> I 
last two years ago, I mean, I, I think I has a time limit now. No, <clears throat> I can assure you we've used that budget on our plates right can now. Can we legally post signs, no smoking? Can we legally do that? There would be, well, we want to consult with the police department. I mean, the council's the authority to put signs in the city uh, so long as they're not going to uh, hamper any public safety issues or any private issues. Is that classified as a public? Building the inner model? Well, yes, because it's, it's talking about outside. The but it's still part of the right, still part of the grounds, right? So what I would say is, is that we could probably have something at least for you before the next meeting, so you could pass something if you want to do that. But I just would like to consult with the police department and the administration just to make sure that where they're going to go, you will know ahead of time, so you can uh, pass it. That's okay. I know I can't do it in, in March. March, 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 March. And I guess I'm all right outside of it. I just am concerned about the island part that you stand. If you ever saw that, with all the cigarette butts and how filthy it is, then you're sitting there and you're sitting there. So disgusting. And it's just, it's mostly bad at all. And if you see the skateboarders, so it's actually more than you can get a little bit. And a real big concern. These are little kids. These are like 13 year old kids. So if we have a new smoking area, we will in fact be a smoking area. Well, let's see. It's technically outside. You know, like, so maybe distance issues. That's why I'm going to ask the police department because they're going to be forcing people to smoke in other areas. You don't want them to be obstructing bus traffic or other, or going over where the bank is uh, there. So we'll kind of coordinate the efforts on that and take a look. Well, as far as skateboarding, is that already good? That's already good. Exactly. Well, I know bus drivers are not allowed to smoke, but they're trying to leave a bus. I can't allow that. I'm just saying that there's a difference between that and the Bus drivers are not allowed to smoke, I think, 20 feet of their bus, so why are just regular people allowed to do that? That's why I don't understand. That's why there should be signs. Okay, so we're, we're going to have, uh, like, uh, if, if we can propose legislation uh, before our next council meeting, and <coughs> at the same time, we're going to notify um, our speaker here, our guest, that okay, who's, who's going to give her a call? Does it come from our office, Jim? Get a hold of yeah. I'll, 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 I'll email you and counsel with everything that you need. Uh, All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.